guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the leak code question, buddy strings. All right, so in this question, we're going to be given two strings, A and B, and they're both of lowercase letters. And we want to return true if you can swap two letters in A so that the result is equal to B. Otherwise, if that's not true, we're going to end up returning false. Okay, so swapping two letters is defined as taking two indices, I and J, uh, such that I is not equal to J and swapping the characters at AI and AJ. For example, swapping the indices, uh, indices of 0 and 2 of ABCD results in CBAD. The reason for that is A is at uh, the zeroth index, and at the second index, we have uh, C. So then you swap them. So in the place of A, you have C, and in the place of C, you have A. All right, so I think the question itself is pretty simple, but one thing I really want to emphasize, and I don't think it's gi uh, given clearly over here, is the fact that we have to swap the letters. So we don't have an option where we can just let them be. So let's say in some sort of instance, the input and the output are exactly the same. Then in that case, no matter what, you have to swap the input, right? And that's just one of the rules. Okay, so let's just see a few examples and go through real quickly. So A, B, and B, A. Pretty simple, we swap A with B and you get B, A. Okay, so that's true. Uh, then we have A, B, and A, B. So now in this case, A and B are exactly the same. But like I said earlier, you have to make some sort of swap. So in this case, um, the only swap that is possible is swapping A with B, and that gives us B A. So when you do that, what's going to happen is they're not the same. B A is not equal to A B. And in that case, it's going to be false. Then we have A A and A A. But notice over here, what happened is we do have the exact same two values. A is exactly equal to B. They're the same thing. But one thing that's one, uh, also true is we have at least one letter which is being repeated. So in this case, that letter is A. So when you swap A with A, well, really nothing happens. The value it holds or the value of the string itself stays the same. When you swap AA with A, so when, you, when you swap the A's in AA, well, you still end up with AA. So in that case, we end up returning true. And over here, we have one more example. So in this case, what happened is B and C get uh, ended up swapping and yeah, and obviously this one is false. All right, so now let's just take a quick look at the solution, which should be really simple. All right, so over here, we actually have a few base cases that we kind of want to consider, and we can kind of split up our problem in a few different parts. So what is the end goal over here? Now, the end goal is we swap A, and the reason we're swapping A is so that A equals to B, right? So that's the end goal. A has to be equal to B. Now, what stops us from reaching this goal? Well, one of the things is, what if the length of A is not the same as the length of B. Well, then in that case, there is absolutely no way where we will get the same uh, same values or same strings, uh, no matter what swap we make. So uh, that's one thing we want to consider. And if the length is not the same, we're going to end up returning false. Okay, so that's one thing. And what is another thing that we might have to look at? So let's just go back to the same condition. And this is the condition when A already equals to B. So when A is already equal to B, what do we want to consider? Well, it's pretty simple. So over here, we have AB and we have AB. So over here, you can kind of see that each, so we have a length of two, and at the same time, we have two unique characters. But in order for A and B to be exactly the same, and when we make the swap, we have the same value, we want at least one character which has been repeated. So at least one character has to have been there at least two times. So that's kind of the basic requirement that we have over here. So I'll just call that A equal to B condition. So that is one thing that we want to consider about. And what is uh, what might be the last condition? So the last condition would be something like this example over here, example four, where they are not the same, but when you make one swap, it actually ends up being the same result. So over here, we want to make a swap. So we're making a swap. Okay, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And these are kind of gonna be our three things that we want to kind of consider. And I'll be going through them one by one. All right, so the first thing, really simple. So if the length, sorry, if the length of A is not equal to the length of B, then in that case, well, we just end up returning false. So return false. All right, so that's the first condition. And now the second thing is we want to see when we have the exact same A and B value. So let's just do that first. So if A is equal to B, perfect. So over here, now again, we want to go back to the condition that we want to have at least one value in A, which is repeated. 
So there's several different ways we can do that. Uh, one thing that we could do is we could go through each and every one of the values and we can kind of have a frequency counter, maybe using a dictionary and kind of see uh, if a value is being repeated or not. So that's one way we can do it. A lot easier and a lot shorter way is what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert A into a set. So now we have set A. So the set A over here is not going to have any repetitions. Well, that's the definition of a set. A set is only going to have each character one time. So they are all unique. So over here, we can get the length of set, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare this length with the length of our string. So if the length of the set is less than the length of our string, so which in this case is A, what that means is that we have at least one character and this one character has been there at least for a minimum of two times. So the length of set A, let's say if that's equal to the length of A, that means that each and every value is unique in A. So in that case, obviously it's gonna be false. False, and it's not, we're never going to have a condition when the length of set A is greater than the length of A, obviously. Okay, so that's going to be it for that. And um, and if that it does happen, then in that case, well, we end up returning true. So now we have our final condition where we uh, have to make a swap. So in this case, the length is the same. They are not the exact same values, but with the swap, they could possibly be the same values. Now, in order to find out whether they are the same values or not, we have to actually see what are the values or the differences that need to be swapped. So to do that, we're actually going to go through each of our uh, strings A and B simultaneously. And we're gonna compare each character with each other. So let's say we go to the first index of A and simultaneously we'll be comparing that with the first index of B. So there's two ways that we can do this. Uh, one of the way is going to be using uh, the zip function in Python where we zip through the two lists or what we could do is we could go through it by each index. So in this case, I'll just go through it by each index. Uh, both of them should work. Okay, so for x in range, and we could do length of a or length of b because once we get to this point, we know that they are the same length. And before we do that, we're actually going to be having our differences stored in some sort of list. So I'll just call this differences, okay? And it's gonna be an empty list. And to this, we're going to be adding our differences. All right, so over here, we wanna check whether the values are the same. So we're gonna go to a and we're gonna check if whatever value is at the x index for a is not equal to whatever value is at the x index for b. Okay, so if they are not the same values, that means that they're different, right? And in that case, we're gonna be adding that to our differences list. So let's just do differences and then dot append. So I'll be adding them as a list and the list is first gonna contain the a value followed by the b value. So I'm just gonna copy this and then change it in. So we have a, uh, ax, so we have whatever the a value is, and then uh, the b value. So what that's basically telling us that this over here is the difference. And we're gonna keep going through this. And by the ending of this, we're going to have our differences list. Now, there's two things that we wanna consider. So the first thing is, how many differences do we have? So if we have one difference, uh, it doesn't really matter, right? So if you just have one difference, we can't really make a swap because we're always going to have one difference no matter how we make a swap or more than one differences. So in this case, we have to have at least, or actually we have to have exactly two differences because we can only make one swap. So to do that, we can just check what the length of differences is. So if the length of differences is equal to two, then in that case, that means we uh, might have an actual answer, right? So if the length of differences is equal to two, then in that case, we return true. But that's not the only condition. So over here, we need to know whether making the swap actually even helps, right? Whether it actually even means anything. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we wanna check whether the two values that we have over here are actually the same when they are reversed. So if we have two differences, we would have two values. So we would, let's say uh, in simple words, we have x comma y, and the other value in order for uh, this to be true, has to be y comma x. Only if one value is x comma y, and the second value is the reverse of the first value, then and only then are we going to be able to get a valid answer and return true. So that's exactly what we're going to do over here. So we're gonna check whether whatever is at the zeroth index, so that's gonna be one value. And to get that, we just go to differences, and we go iterate over to the zeroth index. And we're gonna check 
if this is equal to the reverse of whatever is at the last index. And in other words, that's going to be the first index. So again, we go to differences and now we're going to go to the last index or the first index. Both of them are the same thing. And we want to reverse this. And in order to reverse it, we're going to be using indexing. And all we're going to do is we're going to go through everything, but we're going to go through go through it from the ending to the beginning. So we're just going through it in the opposite direction. So if they are the same, then in that case we return true. And if they are not the same, then in that case we're going to end up returning false or if the differences is not equal to two. So now let's submit this and it should get accepted. So, and as you can see, our submission was accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.